This is full Renegade armor, so if you have not seen this yet, ooh, ah, ooh, there you go. Are you loving Levians? It is Sister Guard here. Hopefully y'all are having a great day. I am having a great day. We're back today again in Venture Tales because we're going to be going over my class guide for Hammer. Hammer go smash. So we're going to be talking about going from level 1 to level 30 in the class, my tips and tricks, some recommendations I have. Uh, some of this is coming from the community as well. Big shout out to Buyer for giving me a hand with all of these tips and tricks, making sure y'all got some recent stuff before we get right into the video. If you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button, do the same subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it helps me out a lot. And uh, let's get right on into it. Hammer is a melee weapon, so you're going to be in combat a lot, which means if you are not favorable to dodging like Sister is, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. <laughs> but this class is actually really chunky. You're going to get a lot of health going along the way. And you can kind of use some of the armor with defensive stuff as well. It kind of helps supplement that if you're taking damage. But let's go ahead and get on into the nitty gritty. And the first couple of spells you're going to be looking for are accessories while you're going on this. One of the first things you can get pretty early on that I'm going to recommend to y'all is rabbit's foot. So rabbit foot increases your crit chance. This is any type of melee weapon beginning off, you're going to get this pretty early on. I would always keep one of these, especially while you're working on any of your melee classes. This is going to help you early on getting started, especially through that one through about 15 before you're actually able to get some of the better items. So really, really good item to start with. The next thing you're going to want to look for is a spell called Shockwave. So Shockwave is a good AOE when you're starting off, especially before you hit level 12. Something really easy to use, really, really good. I would recommend using it because it's a quick little AOE. Hammer does do kind of an AOE when it swings, but it's a little bit slow sometimes. So that's kind of one that kind of branches out. You can kind of do a little bit of damage and you can kind of do it and zip away from the boss if you're waiting on your health to recharge. The next big thing to note, uh, the next spell you're really going to be looking for, there's actually only a few spells you're actually going to be looking for with this class, is uh, Battle Leap. Battle Leap is really, really cool because you fly up in the air and you come down thundering, and so you do damage in an AoE, and the spell is based off your weapon damage. So I have just a green version of this, which this can be upgraded. Uh, I think it starts as a common, and I have it as an uncommon right now. It scales more for wielding one-handed weapons, but it still works really well for hammer, especially early on until you can get some of the other spells, things like that. Now, some people will say getting hand wraps at level 10 is also recommended, but because hammer is so slow, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. Just, But that is, this is one of those classes that when you start having preference, if you want to go more of a defensive build, you can. Just kind of keep that in mind that, yeah, it's a little more eh. You also can get Charm of Kindness at level 12 if that's something you really want to use. But again, these are just kind of general recommendations. You don't have to use them, guys. These are not like really big required spells. These are not things that are really going to help you too much. This is more of a personal preference on this. Some of these classes is going to be a lot of personal preference on some stuff. Uh, some stuff is going to be a hard, you need this now. Now, the next big thing when we start hitting level 20 and level 19. So at level 19, you get an ability called Burning Blood. So you can use this. I would be very, very wary of using it, though. And here's my reason why. Because it eats your health. It takes 25% of your max health. And then you do another 50% of your health. But you get increased attack speed. You get leech life. You get weapon damage. This would be more better for axe and sword. But if this is something that you feel is helpful to you, be my guest. However, I'm not like, ooh, you need this now. At level 20, they also have what's called a combat roll, which if you are really good at rolling, but you're not quite getting to where you need to be, if this is something you want to be able to equip, you're more than welcome to. We do have the base dodge. Also, by this point in the game, guys, if you have gotten Hammer up to level 15, uh, you're going to get an ability called Built, which you now have plus 30 max health. So this is actually going to increase your max health for your entire account. So it's going to give you a little bit. This is actually going to be really helpful when you're starting working on other classes, especially in the beginning, because we don't have a whole lot of health. 
Also at level 19, you are gonna get your first one that I would have to say, this is like a really big accessory you want to grind for. And then is the Malefic Jar. So it has an ability called Jar of Souls, which is slaying an enemy with a melee weapon, harvests their soul, granting you 25% movement speed, plus six weapon damage for 3.3 seconds. You can receive this buff up to two times. If you gain a third buff, the oldest buff is removed. So, and it does boost your damage. Mine's upgraded. Um, so I get 11% increase. So that, that's a lot of damage because y'all got to realize with this hammer, uh, let's see, I'm doing a thousand points right now. High end, high end. That is without me critting. So kind of keep that in mind. This is going to be, you are going to be very, very more crit heavy with this class because you're only going to get to hit once and you want to hit as hard and as frequent crits as you can manage. So that's kind of just something to kind of keep in mind. Now, the next big thing to note, if you can manage to get it, this is a mythical tier item. There is a accessory called Thunderstones, which is critically striking an enemy with a melee weapon, causes chain lightning, dealing 668 damage, which is that's your average weapon damage and your spell power, by the way, uh, to anything within the area. Basically, it's chain lightning. Uh, this is actually a really good one to use because it does increase your crit chance. So if you are going to be more crit focused, this is something to use. I actually have currently equipped everything you are going to want to use. So I will go over those here in a minute. But this is something else you can get at level 25. Now, also at level 25, you are going to have unlocked Overwhelm. Overwhelm is super, super good because you stomp the ground, you deal a ton of damage, and you make everything vulnerable, which means they're going to get, they're going to take more damage, which is really good for you and really good for the rest of your party. So if you're working in a group, this is going to be a big tip. Now, I will say this right now, guys, playing through the game already, I will have to admit when I hit level 26, actually it was around level 24, I started having problems with this class. Uh, this is mostly just a personal thing, so I'm just sharing this with y'all. I started getting really slow. It was really hard for me to progress. Uh, I just kept dying. I was getting very frustrated. So I, I've made this in my general leveling guide video. If you start getting frustrating with a class, go play another class for a little bit. Try to get some gear, level that up to maybe get some passive perks for yourself because it'll kind of help you with everything else, especially if you get stuck on another class. So I did end up coming back and finishing this because I'm going to let y'all know right now. Uh, I actually got crossbow up to 30 because I wanted the 2% crit chance that Lucky gives you. So I'm just, I'm going to be frank. I didn't actually finish hammer in that order. So just kind of keep that in mind that if you do get stuck with this class, which can happen, uh, you may need to go back and relook. And a lot of people aren't going to get hammer up past 20 because at level 20 is when you basically it's the qualification for tower shield and for great sword and pole arm. So because you've already unlocked or have their level requirements for that, most people just go right back down to whatever other class they need to do to be able to unlock those. So you may never get hammer up to 30 or it may be something later down the line when you have a ton of gear. So now final in-game gear we're going to go ahead and talk about. So you're going to get the level 24 hammer, which mine's very, very upgraded. So this is a super, super OP hammer. OK, the reason why this is OP is because its base crit damage is doubled. It is doubled. It does a stupid amount of damage. So until you are able to get the level 30 hammer and kind of get it leveled up a little bit, your level 24 hammer is going to be your piece de resistance. It's going to do some work for you. It's going to be amazing for you. So just kind of keep that in mind that, yes, mine does significant. It does over 100 points more. And that's the reason why I'm using this one over, say, this one. But that is the only reason why is because it does more damage uh, long run. And this is an epic. This is already at mythic. This is going to take me forever to upgrade. I won't need this many for this one. So kind of keep that in mind that uh, between those two weapons, the level 26 weapon is a gray. You can just kind of bypass that. Uh, I would just use it as selling fodder. Now, our last couple of accessories we've already talked about. So level 27 weighted pommel. It gives a crit chance. It gives increased melee damage and it gives weapon damage. So this is going to help you do more critical damage. So once you get this before you get the level 30 hammer, I'm letting you know that lucky hit the level 24 hammer. It's even more broken. So this is something you want to try and pick up as many as you can. This is something to grind for. This is something you will want to grind for. Uh, I wish I had more because I already know this thing gets broken the further higher up it gets. I am I am looking forward to it. Like the next level up, it gets another 2% mainly crit damage, which is a lot. That is a lot. And finally, the last thing you're going to be looking for with this class is Phantom Plating. 
uh, because this gives you burn resistance and you're like, hmm? Uh, there's a lot of things that do burn. I don't know if y'all were aware of this. Also, it has the ability eternal existence. So whenever you receive damage equal to 10% or more for your max health, gain a barrier. And this barrier scaled, of course, off of your um, max health, which you can adjust your max health with other abilities. Uh, you have 33% damage when the barrier persists. So as long as the barrier's up, you're doing a third more damage, which means my 1000 becomes 1300. So that's kind of nuts. This is a really good drop to get. I do believe it drops as a rare though. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, it drops as a rare and uh, yeah, there's the base stats for it. So that is that is my big tidbit. Um, as far as armor goes, plebs, you have a few options. You have a few options. I can go ahead and give you all right now. So you can run, and I would highly recommend for at least the armor, I would run the more melee or the crit, the crit version. Uh, the reason for this is you're going to want that crit chance. You're going to want all that crit chance in the world right there. That's going to be a big difference. The attack speed, I'm not really looking forward to, but that crit chance, that crit chance for this class is going to be big. Okay. Now for your helmet, you kind of have two options. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about this class. Um, you can run the melee one if you want. If you want to run the melee one, you are more than welcome to. Okay. If you manage to get the defensive set, which I actually ironically haven't gotten the defensive drops away yet. I don't know why. Uh, but we can go ahead and look at the ocean samurai gear. Because this is the more defensive one because this gives the damage resist reduction. Which that one's that one's big. When you start getting damage reduction of, you know, hundreds of points of damage, it kind of adds up. Uh, just, you're going to be looking at crit chance. That's that's kind of the biggest thing I can recommend with this class, guys. Crit chance, crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. This is full Renegade armor, so if you have not seen this yet. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. There you go. Uh, again, guys, I'm just prefacing this based off of my experience with the class. You can also build this to be a tank healer. Meaning, you can go through and put on... The defensive stuff if you want that is entirely up to you i'm giving you an offensive build based off of what i've been given recommendations from the community what i played with just kind of some other stuff like that so clubs if you have any other questions or if you've run hammer up to 30 and you're like oh yeah it is really good here's my rec here i have a different recommendation please put that down below i always recommend if you main a class and i'm maybe not adding a detail please 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 correct me please please I greatly appreciate it. So um, I do want to preface, uh, it wasn't really a class I too much enjoyed, but that's just kind of my personal stuff. Uh, I mostly got it up because of Hammer's Fortify ability. So at level 30, you're going to get plus five defense globally. So this includes when you're starting off. This makes low level grinding so much easier. I will already tell you this because um, I have gotten Dagger and Wand already up, which guys videos will be coming out. Uh, for those as well, I'm going to kind of stagger these videos every two days now. Uh, I should be able to get them up that quickly. So it may be a day or two after that for some of them. But that that defense, low level, because if I take off all this gear real quick, I still have five defense. And that is that is just big. That's just big. Lebs, thank you for making it this part of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're maining hammer. I want to know how many hammer mains we got out there. So I will see you all next time. Bye.